Yeah, for me it's crazy, you know. It's my first uh, Premier League game. Odds on this record breaker, Edouard, coming in at around 115,000 coins, being more worth the player moments, Aubameyang? Let's find out. <laughs> uh, What's up, boys, and welcome to the Record Breaker Odson Edouard Players Way View Episodia. Today, we are looking at a beloved Celtic player, uh, got his career started over there, made the big jump over to Crystal Palace, and uh, got this Record Breaker card for scoring the first, uh, I'm sorry, not the first, the fastest Premier League debut goal uh, in the history of the Premier League uh, is what he has gotten this card for. It has currently a 63% approval rating on Footbin. I'm not 100% sure why. Uh, is coming in around 150 thousand coins and he's got French links he's in the Premier League gets all the links that you would want has the four star four star has some pretty nice traits and has some pretty nice stats to be honest with you and then for 115,000 coins again with everything I just mentioned I don't think is the worst value for a card so today we're going to find out if he might be worth adding to your squad and this is exactly the kind of card that I was talking about with the Pierre America bombing the player moments card being there for about uh what is it um uh, it was like 60 days or something like that. Uh, you, you can take your time with Aubameyang and see what else comes out over the course of that time. And this Odson Edouard might be one of the reasons that you swerve the Aubameyang card. It's very, very expensive. This card is literally a fourth of the price. Uh, and uh, like I said, today we are going to find out if he might be worth it or not. If you guys are a Crystal Palace supporter, smash like on the episode. If you forgot to do the Zaha like I did and look like an absolute dum-dum because you can't get that green link right now, smash like on the epi. If you opened up your 84 plus PP pack and got absolute trash and got all three of them as 84s, smash like on Epi. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So, uh, in the landscape of the Premier League strikers, one guy that would compare favorably to him is Robbie Keane. Robbie Keane, nowhere near as fast, uh, compares favorably shooting stats, and then dribbling-wise, I think this Odson Edouard is leaps above. Uh, and then outside of that, we're talking about a pretty significant jump to that next level where we have the UCL Werner where we have the player moments of uh, Aubameyang. So there's a big uh, there's there's a big price disparity. We were literally talking about Premier League strikers the other day and I think he comes at a pretty decent price, like I said, for about 115,000 coins. You get three packs back, and they are all tradable as well. So, uh, let's just dive right into it. So, high medium work rates, already better than Aubameyang. 6'2 height, exactly the same height as him. Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Aubameyang also has that. This card, like I said, fourth of the price. Uh, 92 acceleration with 90 sprint speed. With the Hawkeye chem style, he goes up to a 90 rated striker. Uh, and in my opinion... You know, if this card came out maybe like a month or so ago, I would say you could get away with running a marksman or something that doesn't jack off the pace. But at this stage in the game, with, you know, uh, with the center back meta being what it is, with how fast defenders are becoming, I think you need at least the plus five. Goes up to 97 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. Attacking positioning goes close to up over 90. Goes up to 94 finishing, 94 shot power. And the one thing I like about this, because he's got the finesse shot, I think Hawkeye makes sense because it takes his long shots all the way up to 88. Passing stats for what you need for a striker, already good enough. 87 vision, 86 short passing, 90 curve, elite level passing stats in the areas that you would want it for a striker. And then when we get to the dribbling, the only negative is that 77 reactions. But as we saw last year, uh, that Odson Edouard card, um, who I believe had something around like 83 or 84 or something like that, played perfectly, uh, played perfectly fine. 95 balance, 91 agility, 90 dribbling, 88 ball control. I don't need... Uh, I don't need to put anything on there. Could use a could use a marksman. Could use a finisher, something like that, I suppose. Uh, but uh, I don't think you need to put a you don't need to put a dribbling uh, chem style on him if you're proficient with the uh, with uh, with the left analog stick dribbling as well as the uh, as well as the skill moves. So 86 stamina. He goes up. He has 92 strength. Goes up to 97 strength. And then also the thing I like about the Hawkeye, it gets him to that 72 uh, 72 aggression, which I do like to have a striker that's over 70 aggression. And I think the Hawkeye just makes a whole lot of sense. Like I said, gets him up to a 90 rated striker. Match number one with Odson Edouard. Expecting the world of him. 100,000 coins. I think it's already a dub in terms of the price. Match number one, Alez. Come on, bro. Dude, how does Owusu... Is he manually bringing him back? How is Owusu in net? I don't really know what I was doing there. I, like, dude, there's, there's just no shot. 
can't I can't watch this kind of stuff, bro. I would be swinging punches at that oh, guy. What am I, bro? What am I doing, dude? Okay, Saeed Ben Rama. Okay, for, for, forget about Ozone Edward for a second. Saeed Ben Rama has been making attacking runs. Has been has, has been has been nush, nothing short of outstanding. What a save from Ramsdale. He moved his keeper to the left. <laughs> bro, Aaron Ramsdale is a national pro. <laughs> Ochun! Okay, we wanted to we wanted to take a shot. We wanted to take a shot with his finesses. Uh, we want we wanted to take a stab at his finesses and, and, and see what he had there. Um, obviously, didn't connect on it. A little bit a uh, little, little bit disappointing there. Inside the box, inside the box, finesse's again, dude. Inside the box, finesse's again are just not, uh, are just not viable, dude. Finish him. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Sometimes you just gotta take him out. Is that gonna be a red? Yeah, he's gonna be out of there. Yeah, 2-1. It's gonna be the first game with Otso Ned Award was a mixed bag. Like uh, while his his dribbling felt really good, uh, just a really really fluky game. I mean, this could have been a game where I think Otso Ned Award probably could have had a, a bunch of goals. We had 12 shots, seven on target, and converted only one. What? Yo, what the hell was that? And that's the kind of thing that you want to see from Monolds and Edward. He has P. This will send. And wait, wait for the right position. Also, Edward Verba. He's going to probably make those more often than not, to be honest with you. Again, showcasing Mr. Meeseeks. He might be out of here, dude. You've got mail. He's got, that, he's got, he's got a really silk. This is one of those guys where we're not going to be able to do a lot of through balls. We're going to have to literally... Oh, we will keep on, have you no shame? Have you no shame? Like, this is the kind of guy... This is, this is how you have to play... This is how you have to play a guy like this. That's why! All right, another example of his, uh, another example of his silkiness. Did I really just get scored on by Declan Rice with 57 shooting? Did that, did, did that, did that actually just happen? <laughs> That's, yo, bro, what is that? Edward! 
Odson Edward coming in with an absolute jammer in the 18th minute, and it causes a rage quit. The guy, bro, all Odson Edward does is all he does is cause rage quits. He's got this little dribbling thing that you can do with the left analog stick that just is uh, is is really silky. Again, all left analog stick dribbling um, feels uh, feels pretty silky on the ball. I have to say. There's been some instances where I feel like maybe his reactions come into play. And I think maybe I was missing a trick running him as the, uh, I think I was missing a trick running him as the left striker. So, I mean, he's a goal scorer, but I do need to preface this. There have been some instances where I've, I've had him through on net. And uh, it just feels like maybe his reactions or something are like that prevents him from being one of those guys that you can feel super, super, uh, feel, feel super clinical in front of net. Like that right there. Why, why is he not? That. <laughs> ah, what? And again, right there. I, I, I don't know if that's reactions. I don't know if that's 85 rating, but the finishing and the composure that he has, that's, bro, that's got to be in the back of the net, my G. And again, right there. That like there an, an, another post again yeah i don't know it's a mixed bag there were moments where uh, there were moments where uh odson uh, edward felt absolutely incredible and then there were moments where i was just left desiring a little bit more again i don't know if it's the 77 reactions three and a half four games so i think we got seven goals or something like that and again like i said for about 115 120 000 coins you get some packs back in return i don't think it's the worst value it's just not a in my opinion it's just not a top level card and again 85 rating i know the rating doesn't really mean anything but i have to say he kind of does play like an 85 rated card i can't help but get this idea out of my mind that the 77 reaction is holding this card back from being what it needs to be. The Aubameyang just felt a, just just felt more composed and I felt more confidence, kind of like the flashback Benzema. And I didn't really feel like that. I didn't feel that with the Odzone Edward. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say three and a half out of five in terms of value. Uh, 115, 120,000 coins isn't cheap relatively for Premier League in the links that you get. I would say it's pretty damn decent, especially if you did the Zaha. If you're a Crystal Palace supporter, of course this is a no-brainer for you. And again, he's a guy that you can grind towards. So three and a half out of five in terms of value. In terms of on the pitch performance, I also, and I really hate to do this, I have to give him a three and a half out of five as well because he just, when I needed him the most in some situations, i.e. that last game, he kind of went missing and it just like, it felt like he just wasn't up for the challenge of uh, scoring goals in those key moments. Hit the post a little bit uh, too many times. Really, I hate to say it because he's such a beloved Celtic legend and Crystal Palace just, you know, absolutely adore him. Uh, but uh, for me, he was uh, he was an above average card. He wasn't a great card. He wasn't anything that I'm, he wasn't memorable is what I'm going to say. He's not going to be one of these guys that I'll wake up or like, you know, later tonight on stream, going to be super excited to get done. Just kind of just didn't get it for me. So if you guys have recommendations in terms of chem style or maybe where you play him on the pitch, uh, I am all ears. But that is going to do it for the episode here, boys. Smash like on the epi if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below. We'll catch you guys on stream for my mid-icon pack on the RTG tonight. We'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.